Greetings and welcome to Free Spirit. We come to you from Angsana Spa in Newlands, Cape Town. After an artistic awakening in the village of Cornwall in England, Tracy Connell discovered a magical gift. Painting is her passion. It fills her soul and opens her eyes to the beauty of life. Join Tracy in our first story this week as she takes us into her very own spiritual fantasy. Spiritual fantasy art is basically my combination of fantasy artwork with a spiritual side. The aim of the paintings are to bring messages to people. They very sort of spiritual messages. A lot to do with just listening to yourself, um, transformation, and different paintings touch different people in different ways. And to me, that's really beautiful. Each one, each person's on their own journey. My ideas are coming from definitely a spiritual source. Normally, if I'm in nature or whilst I'm meditating, I will receive the entire vision of the painting. I then draw it straight down as a little rough, and I usually have a stack of them. And then when I meditate again, I get given which painting to work on. I light a gold candle each time before I paint, giving thanks for the gift that I have, which is to be able to paint messages for people. And from there, I do a basic tracing where I just draw down the image, and then I put that onto the, the paper and paint from there. is usually used for graphic design which is my background and I've just learned to really handle the medium so that's why I use gouache. Then I use inks just to give it the vibrancy of colour and coloured pencil just gives it a lot of the softness in the painting. To finish a painting will take up to between 10 and 15 days solid depending on the amount of work that's involved. And usually when once I've finished a painting, I'll journey on it and actually meet the spirit of the painting. And it's usually her or him that tells me what the message is in the painting. Shamanism is where you connect with the elements, you connect with the spirit of wind, the spirit of rain and you bring north, south, east, west together and you form a central axis in yourself which is almost like the centre of the universe and it's there that you really journey. A world shrouded in brilliant white, fragile beauty wrapped in contrast from the air of last breath, enlightened paths are born. Spirits of this white enchantment kindled by warmth of heart blessing seeds beneath the depths with light to grow heaven onwards. The poems basically come from after I've met the spirit of the painting. For me it just kind of brings the painting into this reality because they are so in a, in a spiritual realm that it kind of connects it and makes it a complete painting then. No spirits is basically representative of the cycles of life. What I wanted to try and convey there is that even in winter when it's at its bleakest there is like newborn life right underneath that snow like a seed could be born at any time and even in your bleakest moments there's always life. Elysium means um, paradise on earth it's an old English word and I was in Cornwall at the time and that was my inspiration. I very much connected with the earth there and with nature and that's where I received that this is what I'm meant to be doing for people. 
I think it kind of is representative of me in a way and that's the woman with the dolphins, the freedom, being in nature, connecting as one and just the whole interconnection. Moonlit Melody was one of my most beautiful ones to paint. She's playing a tune on the spiderweb, but there's nobody else in that wood. It's basically listening to your soul and listening to the song within you. Realm of the Phoenix is basically to do with transformation. The Phoenix is a very powerful symbol of transformation from death to rebirth and she's basically entering a new doorway, almost going through the arch with the Phoenix. I have a range of greeting cards, framed prints, and then just normal prints. And I do these so that it's available to everyone. Everyone can have a piece of the magic. For the frames, I try and use colors that are similar or that really throw out the artwork. I try and let each one be individual and bring in a lot of metallic colors and that just to really throw it out in the stars to give it a little bit of magic to it and like my children love them. <laughs> I think I noticed I had the talent for drawing pretty much when I was young. My mom always encouraged me. In fact, when she had her exhibitions, I used to put my work up as well, even though it wasn't that great then, you know. But I mean, every painting that I do, I grow from, and it's actually quite amazing. I've still got my first fantasy painting that I ever did, and it was terrible. But I keep it because it reminds me of where I am today and where I was. And it's, it's yeah, it's an amazing path. Thank you.